YouTube. Chop here again with another Banggood review. And today we're going to be reviewing two things. This little servo tester and these micro 9 gram servos. Now, there's been a lot of good reviews on these servos. So, uh, it was recommended with the Dancing Wings EPP Eagle that I bought and I'm building up. These parts are going to go in there. Huh? So, well, how does this little gadget work? It's got a knob there, it looks like it's got three LED lights, and if you look really carefully, there's a switch. On this side it says in, and there it says out. So, the obvious consensus is that you're going to need an ESC to power it up, or a BEC. But the ESC generally comes with a BEC these days, so um, BEC standing for battery elimination circuit. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this battery, Plug it into the ESC, plug the ESC into the servo tester, and voila, it lights up. Press the button and the lights change. The lights are really bright, you can't really read much when it's on, but the one says man, the other one says neutral, and the other one says auto. So I'm taking it man means manual. And then neutral will obviously, I think, put the servo neutral, and then auto would obviously auto test the server. So, okay, must have been a bad connection. So, what we're going to do is take the server, and I'm not sure, uh, okay, it's going to be this way. Nope, the other way around. No, server jumps to life. So, we're going to test it out by turning this knob. It actually works. We're going to put it on neutral and it's going to jump in the middle and then we're going to put our little arm on. So we're going to place the arm the way we want it to be placed on its neutral position. Put it on auto to see where it moves. It moves equally both ways and then we put it on manual and there we go. Clearly the servo tester works. Now it's got three little gaps over there and you can test three servers out at the same time so what we're going to do is we're going to hook three servers up we're going to center them and then we're going to put them on auto test to see if we can auto test three servers at the same time what I'm going to do is take this screw knowing that the server is centered and I'm just going to screw that screw in over there generally you're not meant to do that when the server is on but I don't see it damaging anything so it doesn't really matter so there we go I'm going to pull the battery out for a second. I'm going to put the server in last position. I've got four of them to test out. So you can take these servers. And as we go along, this is not a review on the servers. This is a review on the servo tester. But you'll be able to see that the servers work here as well. Everything from Banggood.com. I really like that stuff. I'm not so sure I'm a big fan of their customer service because sometimes it really seems like you're talking to a robot and generally when you have a lot of orders at a place some things inevitably do go wrong and you need to communicate with someone. I'm not going to comment too much about that right now. What I am going to do right now is plug in the second server. And the third one. Get the control arms out. Don't want to lose any screws because I'm notorious for losing screws. Let's put those on the table. Those mount the servo to whichever application you're going to be busy working on. And the little screw is what mounts the arm. Now we're not going to use these, so we put them aside. It's convenient to keep them because you might need them in the future. And we're going to go ahead, plug the battery in, and the servo has jumped to life. Let's plug the last servo in. And it works. Set them to neutral. And screw in the arms. Ah, oh, that's not straight at all. Let's pull it off. Put it in like that. The same with the third one. 
and take our screwdriver and screw the servers into place. Now the servo's got grooves on these arms, so, oops. so I guess the screw is just there to hold it down. We're going to put, if I can make them stand nicely, we're going to put these servos onto auto and watch them move. And there we go, we can see that the servo tester does work, switch it to manual, move them manually. It's up. Pop them back to neutral and they go back to neutral. Auto. Manual. Now these can test, well this little gadget can test out servos. But the question is, what else can you do with it? Well, now that you've tested your servos, and the communication path to your motor is exactly the same from your receiver. I put the servers aside and see if we can test the actual motor. Because if it can test the motor as well, it makes it all that much better. Now, I don't think that you are going to plug it in over there when you're testing a motor because the signal doesn't go out there. The electricity comes in there. So we're going to take this, stick it in over here, plug our connectors in on the motor. Just bear in mind I do not advise testing it like this. I would say that you should mount this to something, but I don't have a mount at this point in time. That's why I'm not going to put a prop on it. And as soon as we plug the battery in, up, oh, jumps to life. And the motor comes alive. So if we crank up, there we go, motor's engaged. So if we crank the motor up, is it going to start spinning? Oh wow, it actually does. So with your ESC and your battery on this little servo tester, you can actually test if your motor works as well. Now I wonder if we put this on neutral, what's it going to do to the motor? Is it going to run the motor at a continuous low rev? Or oh, we've got to find out, let's press the button. Oh wow, it jumps into action. And if we put the motor, or we put the servo tester onto auto, what's it going to do then? It's going to run it over a series of motions. Now this could be really handy. I'm not so sure how long you can leave this little server test to plug in for. But if I mount this up, I could leave this to run an entire cycle of the battery to test the motor. So not only is it a servo test, it's also a motor tester. And I mean, you can manually put it at a certain rev and test it out. You can crank it up to full throttle and test it out with a prop on if you've got to mount it to something. Or you can just leave it on neutral to run at an idle. No, it's not much of an idle, but I'll call it an idle because it's a constant speed. Or you can put it on auto and it'll just rotate. Oh, I think that's bloody brilliant. I do think it's really brilliant. So we can unplug the battery over here. We can have another look at this little servo tester. It is a cute little tester. It's small, it's convenient. It clearly does its job. I mean, I've tested three servos out at the same time, and I've tested a motor out at the same time. Now let's try and push this one step further. Let's try and test out two servos for, let's say, like I'm going to be building an EPP Eagle, and it's got Elevon, so it uses two servos and a motor. So, so what if I want to test the entire application out? Can I plug the servos in? and pop the motor in over there and test them all out at the same time. Got to give it a try and find out, right? Let's plug the battery in. Wow! And I'm going to put it on neutral, on automatic. And as you can see, the motor is being tested out with the servo. Let's 
Bloody brilliant. Let's pop this back into manual. And unplug the battery. Unplug the servers and the motor from the little servo tester. Um, I'm shocked. I'm not so sure what to say about this. What I can say is, is it a good review? Yes. Is it an amazing little servo tester? Yes. Should you buy it? Yes. It's cheap. It works. You can test out a whole application all at the same time. It's really convenient. It's really small. And it's so small you can store it in your plane hatch if you want to carry it along the field with you. It's, it's brilliant. Uh, that's all I've got to say, really. Bang for your buck. Buy it. Cheers, YouTube. Bye-bye.